Hello. I play the character Spec Food on the Realm Storm Rage US, and this is my Arcane Mage guide for 5.2. Feel free to skip ahead to any section. To start with, I want to talk about your standard rotation. Arcane has five main spells they use in their rotation. Arcane Missiles, Arcane Blast, Arcane Barrage, your Bomb, and Rune of Power. I'd like to think of the rotation as a priority list. Your highest priority spell is your Nether Tempest Bomb. You can refresh this with one second remaining on its duration, and it will still deal its full damage. However, if you have two Arcane Missile procs, do not refresh it until you have used one of your Arcane Missile procs. The application of your Nether Tempest Bomb has a chance to proc Arcane Missiles, and you cannot waste this by having two procs of Arcane Missiles already existing. Your next highest priority spell is your Rune of Power. Refresh this if there's three seconds or less remaining on its duration, or if you have to move. The third spell in your priority list is your Arcane Missiles. Use this only if you're at four stacks of Arcane Charge. Your next highest priority spell would be Arcane Barrage. However, to maximize your DPS, you want to spend as much time as possible under the four stacks of Arcane Charge while doing DPS. So before you use this, make sure there's greater than one second left duration on your bomb on any targets around you that it can be applied upon. And make sure you used every arcane missile proc you gain before you use this spell. Now if none of those options exist and you have four stacks of arcane charge and you're below 90% mana, use arcane barrage. If your mana percent is above 90%, cast Arcane Blast, and then Arcane Barrage. And now your lowest priority spell is to cast Arcane Blast. So let's look at the video to see what the rotation looks like in practice. I'm going to slow down the video a little bit so I don't have to talk quite so fast. So I'm at two stacks of arcane charge, I'm going to blast once, blast twice, I'll be at four stacks, and I'm going to use my missile proc, another missile proc I got, I'm going to use that again, my bomb has a second left on it, so I'm going to refresh my bomb, get another missile proc, I use that missile proc, now here my mana is high, I should have blasted, but I barraged instead. Now I'll repeat the rotation, I'll arcane blast to four arcane charge stacks, with one missile proc, I'll refresh my NT, get another missile proc, I'll use one, and then I'll be high mana, so I decide to arcane blast instead of reaching 100% mana, and then I'll use my remaining missile procs. Now I'm high mana again, so I decide to blast again. Another missile proc I use, my another tempest about to fall off, refresh another tempest, uh, no procs, I was under 90% mana, so I barraged. Now that was two complete arcane barrage cycles. I didn't mention it earlier, but you want to avoid hitting 100% mana as arcane, as your mana is directly translated into damage as arcane. If you're at 90% or higher mana, cast arcane blast, unless you have two arcane missile procs. As arcane blast can create an arcane missile proc, instead use a missile proc at high mana, then arcane blast. Now let's discuss your mage bombs. I advocate for Nether Tempest as your full time bomb as arcane. I do not like Living Bomb because it does not scale with haste nearly as well as Nether Tempest does. It also has a three target limitation on it. Frost Bomb has a one target limitation, does not scale at all with haste, and does no periodic damage so it will not proc your best in slot trinket. The target limitation limits how many targets you can put it on, which is a big deal for arcane because it reduces the amount of possible arcane missiles proc you can create. So overall, Nether Tempest will do more damage because it scales better with haste 
and it will allow you to proc more arcane missiles, which is also a DPS increase. Now let's talk about your AoE rotation. For 2-6 to six targets, it's the same priority list as your single target rotation, except now you're applying Nether Tempest to multiple targets. The only mistake I made here was not casting Arcane Blast at 95% for greater mana. For AoE on 7 targets or more, use Arcane Explosion and Arcane Barrage when you have 4 stacks of Arcane Charge. If the mobs are stacked so that your arcane barrage can hit 4 additional targets, you can use this rotation on 6 target AoE as well. Now I want to talk about cooldown usage. Your cooldowns as arcane are altered time, arcane power, and mirror images. Before using arcane power, you want to be at 4 stacks of arcane charge have at least 15 seconds left on your rune, and have two missile procs. Every three minutes, your arcane power lines up with alter time, and you want to use alter time in a macro immediately after you gain arcane power. You just do your regular priority list and use arcane barrage right before alter time ends. You should also use alter time to extend your potion bonuses, your tailoring and engineering bonuses, as well as berserking if you're a troll. Mirror images should be used on cooldown or saved and used defensively as a 30 second threat drop. My talent recommendations and the add-ons I use have not changed since my last mage guide so please reference that video if you have questions regarding that. I am not sure yet which Reforge is more optimal, either the Haste build or the Mastery build. I am currently Reforged into the Mastery build, and if you want to see how I do it, you can view that in my last Arcane Mage video guide. Thank you for watching my Arcane Mage guide, and I hope this helps you. Good luck.